A major milestone for this historic cargo ship, the Cape Borda, is making its final voyage. She departed this morning from the Sassoon Bay Reserve Fleet near the Benicia Bridge to Mare Island, Dry Dock, and Vallejo. Now the ship is going to make its final stop. Well, we went black back there. In Texas. <laughs> KPX 5's John Ramos shows hey, it's coming back. what's left of the mothball fleet. When the cargo ship Cape Borda left the Sassoon Bay Reserve Fleet this morning, it may not have marked the end of an era, but it is the end of the Cape Borda. The ship is beginning a final voyage to Texas to be scrapped for its metal. Uh, we like to refer to that as recycling. Scrapping was such a horrible term, do you think? <laughs> Joe Pecorero manages what many know as the mothball fleet. There are only 10 ships remaining now, but at one time there were hundreds. After World Wars I and II, the government learned it was smart to maintain a ready reserve of older vessels that could be pressed into service. We've proven that ships can stay here for a long, long time. You just have to take care of them. But many just rotted away, and the fleet was found to be doing environmental damage. So the government agreed to begin scrapping non-retention vessels, ones that were beyond saving. The Cape Borda was the last one of those. And now, the mothball fleet is no longer a place where ships just wait to die. What's the future look like for this place? I, I would uh, hope to get some more ready reserve force ships in the fleet. And those would be some that would have crews on board and then we would provide for their services. Like the Petersburg, this mobile fueling ship actually has a crew living on it and could be ready to sail in a matter of a few days. Pecorero hopes his fleet can grow again, this time with ships that are a little more capable of answering the call to duty. In, in some kind of conflict or national emergency, we've got to be able to haul the cargo. Um, so there's always going to be ships in a, a national defense reserve fleet in order to do that. At Sassoon Bay, John Ramos, KPIX 5.